Hello everyone, welcome to my second challenge in this Python Stay in Shape series. As you know, I am Jim from Jim Shaped Coding. On this one, I'm going to generate my own challenge and write a Simon Says program. All we know, and Simon is actually asking some questions each time and it increases the amount of the questions in each time we answer it correctly. So this is what we are going to do. We are going to keep on asking the user some questions and to memorize some elements and we will begin with one element and then two and three and so on. And this is going to be really fun. We are going to use some of the uh, really useful methods in Python that we use and call some functions from known modules and libraries. Let's see how we do it. I want to divide this program into little bit kind of steps that I wanted to do in each time because the comple complexity level is a little bit higher. So in the first time I want to choose a random number from a list. Obviously, and the next one is going to display the numbers that the Simon says. Doesn't matter if it's one number, two numbers, or ten. Also, we want to delete the output after each time, so the user will have time to memorize the numbers for like three or four seconds. And then we want to delete all the display we made via print command or something like that. And after that, we want to ask for each number from the user. And we are already know that we are going to use the input function there. The last one will be to decide either the number is true or false. So obviously we are expecting to write an if statement. Okay, so I'm gonna begin with some of the import steps right here. Because I want to import from some of the Python modules. And the first one will be Python import OS. OS, obviously. The second one will be import time. This is to stop the execution of the program for three seconds before we delete all the content. Import SYS also is going to be useful to delete all the content and to exit the program if the user answer is wrong. And import random to generate a random number among a list of numbers. So we are going to use numbers as elements. So in each time Simon will ask us to memorize a number. <coughs> and let's begin. So we want to have a list of numbers that Simon is going to uh, pick up from and randomly and ask us to memorize it. So numbers to generate from is equals to list range let's pick up all the numbers between 0 and 8 so as you remember this will return 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 because the total amount of numbers here are 8 and we want to ask five questions so simon questions amount is going to be 5 and now I want to start executing my for loop for an ask question and let's see how we do that. So obviously to memorize all the numbers that Simon is going to us, we need to keep them on in a separated list. So Simon says list is going to be equal to an empty list. And now I want to iterate through each question amount. So for question in range Simon question amount and let's see what we do here now actually we want to just generate a number with the random function with the random library so I have to do chosen number this is going to be another parameter that is going to be equal to random dot choice numbers to generate from so this line is going to pick a single number among this list right here and it's going to store it in this parameter and then I want to add this chosen number by append <coughs> to the list and I want to print the list in each question that I'm asking the user so 
string there are the numbers you have to memorize and we will display the list here and now I want to wait three seconds before I move on to ask the user the numbers and also I want to clear all the output stuff that I out just outputted by the print function so we do it by os.system.cls so cls is a global windows command to a, to clear all the content that is input outputted by any execution of any script and let's move on now I have to make another for loop and I have to loop through the Simon Says list list because I have to ask the user each of the number on this list so let's see how we do that so it's for use for again for num in Simon Says list and now I want the user to output to put me some of the numbers so what I want to do is to use the input function to accept a number from the user so the input function is actually going to stop the program until I make some so until I write some content in so input and this is going to be the question here and I will write I'm Simon please type the number numbers actually I asked press enter after each number okay and we want to store this in a parameter let's call it student answer and obviously this input must be an integer so I have to make this little trick here so the input will be inside and the general integer function of Python so there's no way someone is going to put a string or something like that and if it happens the program will stop okay so now I want to check if the answer is equal to the number that I'm looping here on this for loop so if student number is equal to num we will print well done mate or lady <laughs> doesn't matter and I will continue the execution of our program because nothing is wrong I want to do something I want to exit the program if the answer is wrong because the out, the output input of the user is wrong and the game is over so I want to make an else right here print you you did not write the correct number game over and then I want to let the user know how many questions he answered so we can do your score is in format and we can write in just this thing right here because this will display us how many questions the user is answered and then if obviously I want to quit the program and I can do it with SYS dot exit so let's see what is going to happen okay now something is wrong here and this is happening because we are executing the program from the PyCharm and we need to execute that from the command line and as you see the problem here is the this line right here is not deleted and I want it to be deleted so we can write in 
CMD in the run line so let's do that now we are inside the command line and I want to navigate to my script to my Python file so C Python challenges and DIR and I have the challenge2.py right here and let's execute this program Python challenge2.py okay I have one number to memorize right now okay so the execution is well here let's type in well done mate lady and the first one is five the second one is three now and this program will continue on let's make a mistake let's see what happens okay my score is two because I had to write three and I wrote seven and the program is quitted I mean it exits the program because of the SYR that exits right here so this is a really basic Simon Sins program and I hope you learn from this episode and don't forget to subscribe and like this video and comment anything below so I can answer Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.